so here goes my first offensive, guys. Um, and I'm hoping that he doesn't have a ton of uh, countered unit counter units to these Marauders. Although, there's not much I can think of that really counters Marauders. Perhaps Stalkers. And of course, expanding while I'm attacking. Just in case you guys were wondering why my uh, commentary is uh, sparse as compared to my old commentaries in Brood War. For those of you who are uh, long-time HG StarCraft viewers. I've decided to switch up the commentating style a bit to allow you guys to uh, enjoy the atmosphere of the game. Really get a feel without me intruding in. Seems like it's a pretty popular decision, so uh, I might be sticking with it. But don't, don't fret guys, excitement uh, is still always laying there dormant, ready to burst out during the major attack. Probably will um, return to my old casting style for uh, more professional games when I start doing cast of uh, pros playing the game. Here I'm building the reactor, excuse me, the tech labs for my starports. Here comes the first attack guys. Taking out the Twilight Council, which is the equivalent basically of the Citadel of the Dune. As an upgrade for Zealot Charge and Stalker Blink. Also the prereq in the Templar Archives. And no more cybernetics war means my opponent will no longer be able to build stalkers. What unit I actually feared. And back to base macroing up some banshee guys. It's always a good idea to tech switch, of course. Here my opponent's coming in with the Zealots, trying to micro away, but I decide that it's way too much, so I evacuate immediately into the dropships. Keep in mind, uh, losing one dropship there, that sucks for me, but keep in mind that the dropships are healing the entire time during that fight, and can be used to immediately escape your marauders or, or marines. So a very useful unit indeed. I actually really like the new medic dropship combination. I was really doubtful of it at first, but it's extremely convenient. And here, just rotating to the back of the enemy Protoss player's uh, base. This is his main base. And there you guys see I'm putting down the physics lab. I'm sure you guys all know what that allows. Battle cruisers. And here my opponent is actually launching a counterattack. I wasn't too worried about it though because it was only a couple of stalkers. But then a whole bunch of zealots come as well and I realized, holy crap, my front door might get broken here. So I had to bring back my units to defend this. I didn't want to lose my main base. My dropships can come back as well with the Marauders. And his attack there is basically warded off by far superior numbers, unfortunately for my enemy. Supply depots still burn to death, all Terran buildings still burn to death within a certain uh, HP range. As in the force. And as you guys know, I have two starports with tech labs, as well as there goes the supply depot, as well as the physics lab, which enables battle cruisers. So I decided for your guys' uh, entertainment, I'd go ahead and build some battle cruisers. Whether or not they are uh, going to be used in this game remains to be seen, however. That there is the uh, new commsat. Kind of looks like an, uh, kind of looks like a Japanese anime attack. All these little rays and stuff going out. If you guys don't me see what I mean, go rewind and watch it again. It's kind of funky. Upgrade complete. You guys can see in the top right hand corner, I have a ton of money in the bank. Not using that pretty much uh, means that you suck. <laughs> That's all a part of macro, guys. Learning to spend that money instead of just saving it in the bank. Hopefully a skill that uh, I work on. And here I decided to go for a two-pronged attack. 
using the Banshees, which are great against workers. They have an AoE attack, I believe. Uh, attacking the natural and then dropping in my Marauders in the main. And I was kind of hoping my opponent... Uh, well, you guys will see. Microing the, uh, the Banshees. And I realized he doesn't have any anti-air at all, so he's pretty much screwed. And what I wanted to say was I, I was kind of hoping my opponent would have some kind of a counter to the Banshees and, and would be able to survive the two-pronged attack, but alas, he did not. So the Battlecruisers do not see uh, game time this game, but rest assured they will be in the next. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a pretty good game, I think. Showcased uh, a little bit of the Terran, got you guys uh, initiated a bit. And next games will uh, be more team battles, more bigger battles, and more longer games with more units. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and thanks a lot. HG StarCraft signing out.